I'm Karen Greve from Scandinavian today. I am going to make Swedish dumplings. It's a very old traditional dish in Sweden. I have to tell you I never had it in Denmark, but I think they're delicious. It's dumplings filled with bacon and onions. And you serve the Swedish dumplings with lingonberry jam and sour cream. Great combination, absolutely. For the Swedish potato dumplings, I'm going to use the following. About one and a half pound of potatoes. I have one and a quarter cup of flour, one egg, one onion, half a tablespoon of oil, about three quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and half a tablespoon of allspice. I also have here about half a pound of bacon or you can use salt pork. So that's about it and I start cooking the boiling the potatoes first of all. And I'm now cooking the potatoes and while they're getting cooked I'm going to fry the onions and the bacon. I'm going to add half a tablespoon of oil to the frying pan and then I add the bacon. And as soon as it is has been fried for a while, I'll add the chopped onions. And I added the onions to the bacon and I'll fry it a little longer. So the onions and the bacon is all finished. Put it on a plate to cool down until I'm ready to mix it with the mashed potatoes. And I can now mash the potatoes. All cooked. And I'm going to add the nutmeg, the pepper, and you can also add a little bit of salt, a pinch of salt. Okay. And next comes the flour. Oh, well, actually, I'm also adding the egg here. Little by little, add the flour. Okay, pour it out on top of the flour. And it's kind of hot, but you know, you can still mix it up. Knead it. It's nice and smooth now. So I put it in a bowl and I let it cool down a little bit before I continue. And I'm now rolling the dough on the countertop and then I'm going to cut it into approximately 12 pieces. And then I'm rolling it into a little bowl. Okay, and then I press it in the center and in the center I'm going to add some of the fried onions and bacon. So this would be great. And then I close it, squeeze it together. Okay and I put them on a plate. So here we have the first one. I'll make the next one. Roll it up. And I put it on the plate with the rest of them. Here we have them all completed. I can now add them to the boiling water here. And I'll Cook them for oh, probably 15 minutes. The dumplings float up to the top. I will cook them for an additional 25 minutes. And here you see the dumplings are at the top and of course I'm now boiling them for another approximately 25 minutes at lower heat. Okay. Finished potato dumplings you want to serve with some lingonberries and also some sour cream. The dumplings are all finished. I can now serve it.
put on the plate. So I add a little sour cream on the plate as well as the lingonberries. And of course, I take a bite. Hmm, very good. Nice combination, absolutely. I like it, and I'm sure you will too. If this is your first time here, I hope you'll subscribe to our channel because every week we create traditional as well as up-to-date Scandinavian recipes. And of course, this will help you to celebrate Scandinavian memories and traditions with your family and friends. School. And I hope to see you another day. Have a great day.